Okay, everybody, that made me nervous. It took, uh, let's see, 30 seconds to connect, and I'm like, no, no. I just thought I would get started so everybody can get their notifications and we can be ready to go. Why does my computer want to reboot minutes before live? <laughs> That's annoying. So you guys can hear me. You guys can see me. We're all here, right? Okay. Okay. So Leah says, good morning. Good morning from Virginia. I have my Tim Hortons Earl Grey tea to enjoy. Earl Grey tea hot. Ha <laughs> ha, you gotta love it. Nana, good morning. <gasps> good morning, Miley. Oh yeah, and Jude too. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, awesome. It needs coffee. No, I don't do coffee. I just do Earl Grey tea or unfortunately or fortunately Coke. So what are you going to do, right? Uh, Lynn, is our Lynn in the house? Probably somewhere. Davina, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Chris Yost, good morning. Always happy to see Chris Yost here. Awesome. Ramona, good morning, gang. Yes, yes, yes. There's Lynn. I see Lynn now. Ah, uh, sip of my tea and I'll put it aside so I don't knock it over, right? Joyce says, hi, Cindy King. Morning all, working at the shop and listening. That's awesome. We always appreciate that, Cindy King. It's awesome. Glad you could be here. Uh, let's see, Gia. Hi from Troy, Michigan. I know where that is. That's nice. That's nice. Jesse, hi everyone. Uh, yeah. Diet Mountain Dew for me this morning. I can't do diet anything. It makes me really sick. So, you know, oh, yeah, I'll take the sugar, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. It's something I enjoy, so I just do it anyways. You know, your computer needs coffee to start waking up. Well, yeah, maybe <laughs> it's possible. So, okay, today we are talking about zippers 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 now i have made these super cute bags and i came up with a really cool way of doing the zippers so they're perfect look at how perfect they are isn't that awesome so this is isn't that the cute uh cute kitty cat so easy to do i did it in fleece too so it'd be nice and soft um Good morning from California, my first show. Well, welcome, Renee. Everyone, welcome, Renee. Welcome to the gang. We, uh, Saturday mornings are our best time of the week. We have tons of fun. Um, Storm, Storm Fox News, I don't know what your real name is. Uh, they're cute. I like them. Yeah, thank you. So this one is really cute. Now, they're all fully lined right and I lined it in fleece kind of made it a bit thick but because I did add a little bit of uh batting and I shouldn't have but that's going to come in sizes so far I've got the hamburger up on the website isn't he cute isn't he cute I like it this is the large size so small medium large look at the back can you guys see the pattern it's hamburgers it hamburgers I love making um the motifs like that so then Beatrice said if you have a hamburger mom you have to have a hot dog so here's my hot dog and he has a zipper on the back so I did ketchup and mustard colors with a yellow zipper isn't that cool so again fully lined I did red inside so yeah I thought it would be a lot of fun cute 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 I changed this one a little bit this i think is probably my favorite here's the back of it and this is the front and this is i think the five by seven size but i'm going to do everything um in small medium large so every bag remember every time you purchase it helps support the channel for this kind of stuff for this kind of stuff and keeps me here otherwise I will have to go out and work and nobody wants that, right? Ha! The hamburger design puts a smile on your face. 
Yeah, I kind of thought so too. It is just too darn cute to be true. Um, ladybugs, you can do them in orange too. Um, but I really like the this one. So what we're talking about today are the zippers. We really want to make them look neat and tidy. And we want it on the inside too. We want it to look good. And it's kind of fiddly and I kind of didn't look forward to them, <laughs> to doing them. Uh, the zippers, um, you can either cover them up or I've started a new way, but I'm going to show you all that today. So yes, these three will be up on the website today. Um, no, they're not eatable. They're not edible, but you can put your snacks in them. So kind of maybe. <laughs> Um, okay, so these three will be up on the website today or tomorrow. Hamburger Dude is already there. It's decent price, so everybody can do it. There's instructions, and today we're talking about the zippers. So, zippers, different kinds of zippers. Now, my designs are set up for basically a one-inch zipper. So this one is one I bought somewhere else, I guess, from a sewing store, and it comes up a bit short. You can use it, but it might be, um, it might be a little short on, you know, where the placement lines go. So you can get big ones, small ones, mediums, and it's kind of nice to have a variety and a variety of colors. Now, I got these ones from um, Amazon, and I got 50 or 100 of them for a very small price. So I got two sizes, all the colors you can think of. This little orange dude, I'll use him for something else for sure. So another thing particular to me, now this is the back of the hot dog, uh, the old back. The new back is going to be square. So let me see if I zoom in, if you guys can see that or zoom out. I guess I was zoomed in. Ooh, that's not set up properly. I'll fix it. So I like to get the outline here. This is the first step. So it gives you the outline and this is where the zipper goes. Now this darker middle line is something I add because it really helps. So this is the exact center of the zipper and you can see it on the back side too. Can you see that? You can see that? Yes. So I'm doing it on cutaway, no show mesh cutaway. You can see that it's pretty thin stuff, right? Pretty darn thin. And let's pick a zipper um, just to show you guys. Well, that one's a bit big and I'm not actually going to stitch it. This is just to show you guys because I have a couple of tricks that you guys are going to go. Wow. So, OK, I guess one of these ones. Let's do the beige one. So this center line helps you line up the teeth of the zipper. So you want to put it just inside the lines and then have the center. And I'll show you how I do it. So you also have to have it, if you have a zipper this long, you need to have everything out of the way because you don't really want to sew any metal now, do you? No, you don't. So one way of doing this, and this is how everyone does it, is that we are going to uh, tape with masking tape. I got a ton of it here uh, and hold it down. But I find with that you get bubbles and it moves just a little bit and then everything's off. So let me show you my trick. This is double sided tape. It is also from Amazon and it is your best friend. Now, I find this stuff a little bit fiddly, but the end results are great. Barbara Jones, thank you very much. I appreciate that so much, so much. There we go. So double-sided tape, stick it down, and I just put it on 
the inside of the line because we still need the lines to line everything up. So double-sided tape, I'm telling you, it is literally the secret to almost perfect bags. So this stuff isn't very expensive. You can see it's really small too. Susan Williams, yay, good morning. Um, and Carol is here, yay. So you stick it down and I give it a good press with my nails and then you take the white part off and you guys probably can't see it anymore. Uh, again, a little fiddly, but that's okay. So there's my zipper. So now when I line it up, it is going to stay perfectly flat. This is also a lot faster too, I find. And, you know, if you're going for perfection, you got it right there. So if you don't like the way, way it is, you can pull it up. It's sticky, but not super sticky. I always turn it around to the back and you can see that magic line is in the middle of the teeth. So it's perfect. Now I can do this pretty quickly. Um, but there's no bubbles, there's not going to be anything, and you don't have to fiddle around. So let's stitch this down at the machine, and then I'll show you my trick for the next step, which is awesome. So carefully put it on. I make sure the zipper pull is out of the way. Now I'm going to stitch it down, and you guys will go, wow. All righty. And we'll do um, a little bit on the outside, too. New camera view. Mm, we can get nice and close, too. I like that view. That's pretty good. So you can see how straight it is and how straight the zipper stays. And I think it makes the world of difference. Isn't that awesome? I think that's awesome. These are the first steps for all of them. So... Yeah, it works really well. I'm so happy with that. I always beam, 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 beam. I'm super happy with it when I uh, finish one. So we're going to take it back to the desk and I'm going to show you my next tip. So I always look at the back. The back is a very important part of the hoop when you're doing this. Carol says, I needed this tip. It makes, honestly, it makes the world of difference and... It's about as perfect as you can get, really. Um, I love it. I love it. So I always check the back. So if you remember the rules, because some people get confused when you're putting the lining and this and that and the other thing. So what it is, the front of the hoop is for the outside of the hoop. So it's for the front panel and the back panel front panel, back panel, depending, doesn't matter if you have the zipper or whatever. It's like, does the double-sided tape gunk up your needle? No, it does not because it's barely stitching on it. It's more of a hold than a stitch. So it's, it really doesn't. And I've got tiny, tiny, tiny stuff because you don't, you don't need, um, you don't need like a ton of it. So, okay, I've checked everything. Now your fabric, now I just use scraps here. Fabric has to be folded down and I do iron it. I use this little guy here, which isn't really an iron, it's a press, but it works and it takes like two minutes, two minutes to do. So now we gotta place this fabric and what I've been doing is tucking it right next to the zipper. Can you see that? Perfect. So we've got a nice fold and you can also like guess at the middle of the zipper and then your zipper is going to be hidden, which is something I also love. So let's do this side and again, just a little piece. And again, I'm going to put it on the edge because we're not necessarily stitching on the edge. So hopefully that helps with the gunk up the needle thing. We're not really stitching through it. So we don't have to worry too much 
um, I was taught to use that tape and garment sewing. Yeah, it makes a big difference. And I bought a ton of it. Uh, Betty, yay, Betty Turner's here. Hi, Betty, welcome. Take it off and figure out how you want to place it. So if you want it right on the edge, it's super easy to do. And again, you get that perfection. Look at that. Perfect. If you don't like it, if you want to make a change, just take it off. So that makes our zipper area absolutely gorgeous. Like this one's nice, bright colors. Look how perfect it is. And I have no problem using a contrasting color to stitch it down because it's perfectly straight. And I think that's great. So that works on the front. Now, another little trick I came up with, take a little piece and this works on the front and the back. And I'll show you guys the back momentarily. So give it a good press down. And this is going to make it even better. So just a little piece, no biggie. There we go. And you can guess what this is going to do. It's just going to hold it so it's nice and flat. It's not going anywhere. And it's outside of our sewing area, so we're not going to stitch on it. And let's do the same on the back. So you can see how straight everything is. It's absolutely perfect. I love it. Um, so now when you're working on the back of the hoop, so this is the lining side, right? When you're working on the back of the hoop, you do want the fabric out of the way. So I've got fabric, I've got it folded down. Now, I this is what this line, this darker, thicker line is for. That's where the teeth are for your zipper. So you don't want to put it like that because you can tell it's wrong, but you can get it right close. This should be absolutely perfect because the, the teeth of the zipper are right there. Can you guys see that okay? And it's perfect. I love it. It's perfect. So if you want to, you know, go right up again, I don't do it for the inside though. Um, you can see through because we have lovely uh, thin cutaway fabric. Um, and we're going to do this. It's perfect. So you can see where everything's going to go. Now, the only thing you have to be careful doing on the back is you do not want to push anything down. So I'm going to just gently do this and look, you flip it over and then you can give it a press. If you press it hard from the other from this side see how it moves you could put everything out of alignment and we don't want that i didn't mean to pick such a big piece uh but you know it's okay there we go see that worked out well so again i'm putting it on the edge of the zipper and i'm gonna line this baby up right about here i think and look you can even even with an eyeball you can see it straight gently here because I don't want to push. Now, instead of using the masking tape, which is fine, my machine has never liked it, but that's okay. Here's another trick. The back of the hoop, you can push down gently on the part, the inside part of the hoop. So I'm going to put a little piece. You could actually use a lot less than this. And I did all of these ones with these tricks and it just takes a minute to do and I love how it turned out. So no tape to pick off either at the end, but I find the masking tape, no matter how hard you push it down, it just simply doesn't stay. And it drives me nuts because then I have everything all over the place. So you see where I'm placing it? And you don't have to go overboard. See, I cut one piece and then I made it half the size because it, you don't need that much. We're just, we're not holding a bridge. We are um, holding, we are holding fabric down. So this also makes a big difference. 
So, and we're outside of our sewing area. So again, if you're worried about uh, gunking anything up, you don't have to because we're not going to be sewing on this. So I can push a little bit with my nail. You don't want to, you know, be bam, bam and, and, um, you know, push really hard. And then look, we're going to, and careful not to pull, just smooth it down flip your hoop over and now you can give everything a good press so we've got this perfectly lined up here perfectly lined up at the back and if you look this isn't going anywhere i don't want to cut it but it, if this should have been a bit smaller uh it's not going anywhere and you don't have to worry about finding tape I find the tape pulls off and then it pulls a little bit I just want it to be um, perfect not perfect but close enough but you see how how great the lines are I love it I love it see now I just needed to make a little adjustment and you just pull it up and then push it back down and it's done so what do you say we stitch these ones and then we can have any uh questions uh that you guys want because this is all you need to know about zippers for sure so because my my piece is so big i'm gonna tuck it underneath i should have done it on the other side uh i don't want to cut it because i'm not actually making something and it goes with a layer cake grouping i have so I know I don't have everything on, but I have one on the front and one on the back, and I am gonna use black. And we're gonna see, now the other nice thing is, we can see through everything, and it doesn't really matter if this is out flat, I'm only concerned in this area behind. So, all right, let's rock it out, guys. And we shall see. So I have the fold right up to the zipper. And I don't have to hold anything because I have it nicely secured right here. And I love it. So look at that. Really honestly, you can't get any better than this. I'll zoom right in so you guys can see. Now, we don't have anything on the other side, but it is going to stitch down the back side and then we're going to have a look at it. So I'm really happy with this and uh, the double sided tape, the thin stuff is really, really not expensive. So I'm happy with that. Now, normally you'd be sewing down these two pieces and then carrying on and then flipping over the hoop and doing the bottom, but we're just playing around here. So back to the desk. So a little zoom in. Do you see how straight that is? Flip over to the back and look at that beautiful line and nothing went anywhere even though i had a bunch of uh extra fabric and everything but look because i ironed it um i wish i could show you guys like a real close-up so you can see how perfect that line is it's white because it's bobbin but it's a perfect balance and it's going to make everything even like I said look at uh look at this zipper one and I could use bold colors and for this one I wanted like the zipper and the teeth to show a bit more because of the colors it matched the neon yellow yes that is neon yellow um and it looks really good so yeah, and I also did it on this little guy here, which I really like. And you'll find that the lining is uh, absolutely perfect. And it's not going to get caught in your zipper and you won't have any problems. So just don't forget to unzip it halfway when you're done. Now you can put straps um, and zipper pulls and stuff on these. I just left it plain because I'm playing around. 
Um, what great party favors. This is probably my favorite. Uh, it's between the cat and the ladybug. Hmm. I haven't decided. I think the cat's adorable. I decided to make an orange kind of tabby one. And I love the tail and then the orange zipper, of course. Orange zipper. Um, it's awesome. So, and it's all fleecy and nice. So there, there's different sizes of it, all the way up to an eight by eight. Uh, this one, for example, is the eight by eight size because I was hungry and I wanted to make a big hamburger. <laughs> I don't eat hamburgers or hot dogs, but you know, it's the thought there. And then the kitty cat, and I'm gonna be making more. So this is why I wanted to go over how to do the zippers. You don't have to be scared of zippers. And, you know, if you look at someone else's zipper purse and this part is all crooked and kind of messy and it gets caught in there, this looks way better, way better. And no masking tape to come off and get stuck and roll up. I mean, this is perfectly flat. Can you guys see that? perfectly flat, perfectly straight, and uh, I think it works out really well. So I am actually going to oh, pop these this one off because we were just playing around. The nice thing is no picking. You don't have to pick anything off. And I think it's great. I think it's great. So I am just going to cut where you would when you're turning the bag and all of that, where the zipper would be, just to show you guys that the line is matched up. So you just have to be a little bit careful when you're doing this part. Some people use a seam ripper. That's fine too. My tulip pinks just kind of glide along the whole thing. But that's the zipper, and it's perfectly placed for the lining. Look, no problems whatsoever. Look. So that is about as good as it gets for a lining. Because I do that line there, it, that's exactly where the teeth are. So you can really line up everything. Yes, I like this so much better than masking tape. It doesn't go anywhere. Cindy King says perfect. It really is. It really is. So that extra line is really important, but look, nothing catches. I've done a few zipper purse where, purses where I'm like off a little bit on the zipper and it just doesn't open or close or especially on this side. But that looks like you know, almost perfect top stitching on both of them. And you can use contrasting colors. You don't have to match it because it's not straight. So that is how I do my zipper purses. This stuff is not expensive at all. And it is just the handiest thing ever. I actually, when I bought it, oh, wrong drawer. Hold on. When I bought it, I bought like a whole bunch of it. This was the kit that I got. And they're all, this will last me forever. Um, but they're all the same size. Look, and they have plastic in between. So I keep that at, in my drawer and I'm always ready to rock and roll. And it's really nice. It's really handy. So... Can you show how you pull through with the lining inside? Well, there, um, I think I can actually, uh, cause I don't think I, maybe I did. Maybe, no, okay. I can show you on this one because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't seal it up. So when you take it off your machine, whoops, when you take it off your machine, it's going to be a bit of a mess, a bit of a mess. And when you get it to this point, that's when, okay, now the zipper would be like halfway, so it makes it easier. 
And what you want to do here is just close up the lining and you could, I don't know, press it. You could do anything you wanted to do that. Um, I do a couple things. Sometimes I press it. I think it's, uh, is the tape size one eight? I think it's a quarter of an inch, but any size will do. Okay, so guts, when you take it off the hoop, this is our um, uh, backing, our stabilizer, and I've cut around it and I've cut little pieces out. And this is what it looks like when you take it off the hoop. Is that double-sided tape or steamacine? It is double-sided tape. So this is what it looks like now. There's only one opening and it's at the bottom on this one. So you are gonna turn it through the opening and uh, hopefully it, it, it can get a little bit fiddly, but just be patient with it. This is the first turn and this is what it's gonna look like right here, right here. So, I mean, less than pretty. And before you turn it again, you're gonna fiddle around and, um, um, you know, sew everything down and close it up. So look at my zipper, nice. And it looks good when it's in white. So what I am gonna do is fully open the zipper and you have to do, you have to cut this. You could probably do a better job than I did. So this will be closed and there we go. Then you just give it a turn and just kind of gently poke everything out. You don't have to get, you don't want to pop a seam or anything. And that's how you do it. So two turns and they're all made the same. So two turns. So the design gets stitched after the, the zippers down and you put your fabric down and then it gets stitched. And then the first step that you do is the back, whether it's the picture or the, or anything, whatever the back is, has to be done. And then, so this will stitch out like this. You've got your zipper, you've got another piece here. The design is going to stitch, <coughs> excuse me, whether it's, um, and quilting or anything else, it'll stitch out. Then you put the lining on the back, which again is so perfect, uh, delightful. And then you put the back on and then you put the lining back on and then you cut it out and turn it like I just showed you. So once you do one of these, you get pretty good at it. So double-sided tape is your new best friend. It's gonna save you a lot of time and um, I'd love to see the nice seams you guys make because to me, there it looks better than uh, sewing. I couldn't sew this straight line maybe. Is there batting in the bags? You can do batting if you want. I sometimes uh, tend to put it in the back. So this one has batting underneath so the quilting shows up nice. You can, and in the instructions, it'll show you how to do it. Now this one, uh, I also did batting, but the fleece is a bit thick, so it got awkward. And this one, again, has batting on the quilting. So that's the only place I put it. Now this one does not, there's no batting in this one. So I decided not to put it at the back. So um, what's the best double-sided tape to use? I have a no-name brand from Amazon and it's perfectly fine and probably costs half the price. So good questions. Um, I don't know if there's anything better or worse. This stuff is a bit fiddly, but I still love it. I still absolutely love it because it goes on so nicely. So, and it makes everything nice. So take a picture of your seams that you make and size please of what the tape well it looks like a quarter of an inch to me so it, it doesn't have to be exact it can be a little bit bigger a little bit smaller but to me you don't need it 
any bigger. So, yeah. Uh, awesome. So be looking for these guys. Um, and remember to support the channel so I can keep doing this because I has... Oh, there you go. Betsy says, I bought a bunch of double-sided tape at Dollar Tree. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. So, zippers. Show me your zippers. Show me how good they look inside and out. You guys will be really happy with this. You'll also be really surprised at how quickly everything stitches down. So, it's awesome. So, thanks everyone for watching. Happy zipper day. Do something with the zipper. Don't be afraid. You got this. It's super easy and it's so nice. I just love when something comes together. Um, members, we will be doing the class at 11.15. So you guys have about a half an hour. And uh, we can uh, do some digitizing together. So I'll see you guys then. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Look for these up on the website. Bye, everyone.